Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have created a report, it will appear within the navigation pane. Here you can select it and then press Ctrl plus Enter on your keyboard to open the report in Design View. In Design View, you can edit the report to change the field placement, add or remove data fields, or format selected report objects. In Report Design View, you can change many of the same aspects of reports that you changed in your forms when using Form Design View. You can also create a report from scratch in Design View in much the same way that you created forms. To do this, click the Report Design button that appears in the Reports button group on the Create tab in the ribbon. That will create a new blank report and display it in Report Design View. One of the first things that you will notice about Report Design View that is different than the Form Design View is the number of bands or sections within the report. By default, the Report Design View shows a page header, a detail section, and a page footer. Now what is important to note about reports is that in a report the particular section that you place the fields into can impact what data displays in the field. Just as with form design view you can start by clicking and dragging the fields from the field list pane at the right side of the design view and then dropping them into the desired section of the report design window. However, since reports often use queries as their basis versus using a table, you may want to know how you can select a query to use as the report's data source, since queries are not shown by default in the field list. In this case, which happens frequently when designing reports, you should set the data source property of the report. To do this, click the Property Sheet button that appears in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Use the drop-down at the top of the Property Sheet window to select Report if needed. Then click the Data tab. Use the drop-down within the Record Source Property field to select the name of the query to use as the data source for the report. Then click the Add Existing Fields button that appears in the Tools button group to show the available fields in the selected query within the field list pane. Fields that are added to the Details section display their field information once for each record in the associated data source. Items that are placed into the Page Header or Page Footer areas repeat their information once per page. That makes those areas suitable for report labels and date time stamps, but not for calculations. You can also add two more useful sections to the report. The report header and report footer. In Access 2013 and 2010, you can right-click on the header of any displayed section in the Report Design view, and then select the Report Header Footer choice from the pop-up menu that appears to enable the display of those areas. In Access 2007, you can enable both these sections by clicking the Report Header Footer button that appears in the Show Hide button group on the Arrange tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Note that fields that are placed into either the Report Header or the Report Footer will display their field information once at the very beginning of the report and once at the very end of the report. Oftentimes, you will find report titles, 
placed into the report header section. The report footer section is often where you will place fields that calculate the grand total of other report fields. You can also create many additional header footer combinations for the various groupings of the fields in your report, which you will examine in a later lesson. In addition to the field list, you also have many of the same controls that you used in forms available for use in Report Design View as well. They are shown in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. You can use the buttons in this group to add labels, images, or custom calculated fields. Once you have designed the report, you can view the report results in Print Preview to view how the report would look if you actually printed it. When you are viewing a report in Print Preview, you can view multiple or single pages of the report and also print the report using the buttons available to you on the Print Preview tab. When you are finished previewing your report, You can click the Close Print Preview button to close the preview and return to Report Design View. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.